Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and I hope you are having a great day, and thanks for joining me here. So, let's continue playing as the new American state, and have a good time with each other. So, um, we're picking up right off where we left off last time, getting ready to go to war with the, Whistle, the people of the Whistler Nation, as we are slowly, slowly going to be taking out Ruby Valley Refuge, as well as those naked, painted men. Now, the painted men, they're running out of manpower, obviously, on Scraping the Barrel, so they might not attack us anymore, which is very, very disappointing. But the show must go on, and I must crush all those who oppose me. We're going to begin an attack in the south, just so that when we attack, they can't really recover from the attacks that we're giving them. Uh, do these guys have any gunships? Because I only have 2,800, and I could really... Really spread my love around. And by love, I mean 1,000 more gunships and vertebrates in the air. That would be devastating to any enemy nation. Oh, and we've got to make sure we do this before April 7th. Before, oh, and there goes Dr. Henry. He leaves Enclave, never a political figure, but even he could not ignore blank. All right, no place for the na naive. Um, the return of... Arcade Ganon. So, since the Enclave's reform and integration into American integration of American citizens, some of those who fled after the fall of Navarro have returned to us. Among those is the scientist Arcade Ganon, the son of an Enclave officer who later joined the followers of the Apocalypse, inspired by our promises of a better life for the people of the waste. He's willing to return to the Enclave's ranks, and he's going to join us. And within a few days, he's going to leave us again, like all those sons of bitches. So, um, 79% legitimacy. Soon, we're going to lose some more because the guy I just talked about, he's going to leave us, like they all do. They all don't like us in the end. But regardless of where they're going to live, they're going to be American citizens in the end, whether they like it or not. Because what, if they don't choose to live in the new American state, the new American state is going to come to them. Let's go ahead and go to war with Lister. Let's stop wasting so much time. There you go, my friends. These guys should have enough gunships to help them out no matter where they're at. But they could always use more and to get rid of huge things here. Oh, they're they're arriving up there. Okay, that's fine. Um, give me 200 more. You can never go wrong with more and more gunships. I love, love, love gunships, as you can probably tell. I got a lot of scrap fighters. Very nice. Very good. That should be enough. Let's see how the power armor is doing down here. So they're t they're advancing in the south. Infrastructure down here isn't super great, but that's all right. Oh, we found some of those over there. We're currently justifying on Ruby Valley Refuge, which might be a little bit more difficult to take out. But once we are done justifying on the Ruby Valley Refuge people, then we're going to go ahead and justify on the Haida Confederation, New Victoria, take those guys out. And just take out as many people as we can before we go to war with the Mormon Alliance. As my power armor is probably going to be taking out the cannibals of the Midwest. That is really my goal. Get to the cannibals. Destroy them. Oh my goodness, we have even more factories now. Just do that. We're out of electricity. Minus 743. Go figure. But, you know, that's alright. In time, we'll get, them. we'll get that much back, hopefully. Um, really not much else is going on. We can't really do Vault City University... We could get more legitim legitimacy by doing that. We need more civilian factories so I can build stuff. But well, that's why we're making a lot of them. Whistler and, of course, Arcade Ganon leaves the Enclave. We lose legitimacy, citing recent decisions made by government. Uh, the Whistler Nomads are dead. Uh, Arcade Ganon has left the Enclave in disgust. He was smart enough to take his, make his grievances known by letter to be discovered long after his disappearance. Ganon's whereabouts is currently unknown, but he's going to live here whether he likes it or not. Cool. So, I'm going to take you guys. Give me half of y'all. Half of y'all will come over here. And we're going to do that. And give me the other half of y'all. And we're going to do this. Same tile, probably. Yeah, actually, no, it's just that same one tile, huh? Alright, well, whatever. If... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we can come up here, too. Nice. Those 12 will come up there. Uh, that should be good for that group. Let's go ahead and begin to think about invading oh this area down here mm, 
Let's do the port over here. I need to take attack ports. Ports are probably the most important thing for me to attack. Take that power armor too with this trip. Come over here and cut off the capital from everyone else. That, two, three. I might lose a few divisions, but that's just kind of a necessary evil. Do that. If I can take that supply base in Moors, Moores, that would be awesome. Come down here. Split that off as well. We got two more divisions. Come from here to invade. Is there any other port? There's really only two ports around here. I'm not going to attack Kung, <clears throat> but I will attack this area too. We'll see what happens with those groups of people. Great. But you guys, you guys might want to help invade this area, this land as well. So, one, two, three. Attack Winter Harbor. Maybe that's, is that a cold harbor? I don't know. Never played that DLC in Fallout 4. Uh, I guess we're attacking over there. The super heavy power, the power armor will be uh, expected to make some significant landfall into here. Let's see. Around here, we will take this port, perhaps. Probably not, because they probably have a lot of divisions over there. Over here. Take the tile leading to that port. You guys come from here. Attack Roche, whatever that is. And we're left with two more divisions to attack from here to there. And I obviously won't attack these places until a little bit later. Probably. Not really sure. They do have... They don't have a ton of divisions, actually. Nice. A supply use. Let's get more reinforce rate. More, more reinforce rate. Cannibals. Nope. Not really much up here. Hey, Victoria, you are next on our list. But that's too many days for me to do that. I need to finish off the Red Valley Refuge first. How is this going down here? Over here. Up here. Somewhere here. Oh, you can't really do much because... This is taking quite a while. That's fine. Wow, they lost 32,000 men. Holy crap. How many have we lost? 569. Nice. Whoa. Why am I back over here in the water? All right then. Whatever. Patrol ship. Uh, oh, we could actually use another general. Amos Appleton. Patrol ship one. Replace patrol ship armed or armed tug, actually. Let's replace the armed tug with the patrol ship one. Make one of those. Oh. At Etna. Do that. Very nice. The game is becoming increasingly laggier and laggier, but that's pretty much expected. Not bad, not bad. Zoom in all the way so that the game can speed up as fast as possible. And we got 20 days until we go to war with these guys. They have not a lot of manpower. A couple divisions. Not as much as I would expect from these guys, though, but that's okay. That is certainly okay. Some resistance... The followers of the apocalypse. Perhaps the oddest faction of the West is not those Boy Scouts in power armored, or the Khans, who probably never even heard of Mongolia, but rather the followers of the apocalypse, neutral and respected by all, they have tried to bring a brighter future by teaching and healing. Unlike most other factions of the West, seek no power over men. Now that more Americans are beginning to see us as their lawful government instead of genocidal maniacs, the followers have asked to expand their expand throughout this reunited states. Although they might improve the standard of living, some fear their anarchist ways could harm our nation. But surely we can't persecute people because of their political beliefs, can we? Boy, do you know who the Enclave are? Subsidize them? I would love this. I would love it. Oh my goodness. But these are anarchists. And in America, we don't believe in anarchy. These guys are doing well. Just going to guard this tile. Um, against these Mojave Raiders, people in the north will be very, very important. Uh, Painted Man is going very slowly, but that's honestly pretty much to be expected. Keep the town going up. Ooh, do we have an upgrade, sir? Yes. Better infantry expert. Does anyone have any more general upgrades for the good of the group? No, they do not. One division, take out four of these guys, and they have died. B-E-A-U-T-I-F-U-L. Thank you. Thank you. 
the time by the time this is all done and good um yeah there won't be very many enemy nations left so we're already by here by the navajo nation we should be able to do this fairly easily but then again i've been wrong before <clears throat> so give me one two three four and i will attack the cannibals by the end of this episode so no worries my friends no worries give me five over here Another five right here. They've got quite a few divisions. They might have quite a bit of armor, uh, manpower, I mean. But I don't know. That should cover most of the bases. Yeah, we're not guarding our ports yet. We just don't have enough um, Coast Guards yet. But in time, my friends, in time, we will have enough Coast Guards to guard all the coasts. Good. Good, good. Cool. Let's let time go on for a little bit. Um, We don't need that. We need some of this. Cool. Yeah. Oh, do you not have orders up here? Oh, maybe I assigned too many divisions to invade. Hmm. Interesting. Now, before we go to war with the Mojave Raiders, I'm going to do something like this. Split you guys up in half, actually. Another new commander, Michael Mead. Um, actually, you know what? Give me the 12 here. The 12 here actually will be the main ground force against these guys. Gets a bigger border. And then we'll get another group of divisions to come over here in the north to help guard us up there. That'll be good. Anything else around here? Nope. Nothing really different. Forward interception. Very good. Ooh, open a nursery. Huh. Nice. We're done with the air doctrine. Airplanes. I guess I might as well research them. There's no point to not. What is this? Open the nursery. The good earth. The nursery is a pre-war facility buried in a remote valley led by a pre-war AI who calls herself Diana. Diana. Although the EPA thinks we could use a facility to terraform the wasteland into a paradise, Diana refuses to aid us and claims we'll squander her gifts. If we can get her cooperation, we could rebuild the American biospheres and restore bald eagles, buffaloes, and woolly mammoths to American wildnesses. Hacker systems. That's a lot more manpower. Consumer goods goes up. Is every pre-war AI insane? Shut off the power. I want this. Give me more um, population or recruitable population. We're going to be terraforming the wastes. We must benefit more Americans. There we go, finally. Let's go and go over these guys. Can I do a justify goals time thing again? No. Oh crap, let's get rid of that. I need to actually do my focus. I forgot about that. Where is it? Incorporating these guys. Awesome. Support partisans. Awesome. And masters of the wasteland for faster justify war goals times. Let's go and go to war with the Haida Confederation. This is going to go very poorly for me, because I know it will, because invading this island usually is a big problem for me. Usually very, 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 very big problem. That's what I'm going to call on about eight, about 1,600 gunships help me in the invasion. And do we have any fighters? Are these Chinese fighters? Xian 85 fighters. Maybe they are. Do that. I'm not really going to pay attention to the Ruby Valley Refuge. We might not be winning down there, but I don't really care at the moment. Cool. Because I want to make sure that our ships are doing what they need to be doing. So you guys can stop doing that. We probably won't get invaded in the waterways. But I want to select you guys to do this. That should be good enough for... Uh, give me one more. Envoy escorting. Actually, give me change. Uh, I don't really need convoy escorting. What I really need is naval evasion support. There you go. So we have pushed them pretty hard into the Ruby Valley Refuge. We've lost 168 guys compared to 3,000 to our enemies. Glorious. Just beautiful. But yeah, this Mormon alliance is going to be a pain in the butt. But we can go to war with Delta next if we need to. 
Actually, is Yampa... Is New, who else is here? New Hammond. New Hammond might be a good place to attack as well. But before we do that, we have these two guys down here. And they could help us out down here. At least one of these guys. We'll come down there. I want you guys to... Kind of hang out. Where are you going? Oh, you're fine. Go ahead and train. Because we'll take out Delta next. And fighting the Mormons will be a little bit more difficult, but whatever. Ooh, I thought the game was going to lag so hard that I couldn't even play the game. All right. We should be okay with invading the Navajo Nation now. They definitely have a lot of divisions. They're no ally with nobody. They don't have a lot of manpower. But we have power armor, so I should feel okay about this. And you come over here, and then you come up there. They are attacking us, but they can't pierce us. Drain them of the resources. Uh, they have eight, 15 divisions attacking us over here against 5. But luckily they cannot pierce us, and they've lost about 1,000 guys already. Make that soon to be 2,000. Well... Oh, did I even give you orders? I didn't give you orders yet. Good enough. Let's go ahead and do it. Happy guys. Let's go to New, New Navajo. Pulled a sneaky on him by coming through the north. Very nice. They, oh, well, I said they lost 2,000, but they really lost 7,000. Yeah, 7,000. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Justify preemptive attack. That would be great. Um, some task forces are too far away to give this region naval supremacy, or naval invasion support. Nice, these guys are gone and dead. I love power armor. Awesome. Give me you guys, since there's fewer of you on this side. We'll take out Yampa next. Uh, how many entrances are there? There's a few entrances this way. Oh, do you have an upgrade? Oh, you're adaptable, nice. That's actually really, really good. Give me half of y'all. Something like that. Yeah. Give me four of you guys. Can you actually do... Nice. That'll be good. And then the rest of you... Uh, well, maybe not the rest of you. Do that. Give me half of you. Yeah, like that. That should be good. Cover all our bases up. Take out Yampa. Do you have another upgrade? You're level 7. You're almost level 8. Goodness gracious. Trickster, that'd be cool. Become an organizer, that would be really good. Panzer leader? No. Cavalry leader. Engineer. Hmm. Skirmisher's okay. Paratroopers? Eh. You know, they're kind of eh. So many more. The people of Phil City was annexed by the surviving Chinese paratroopers. Uh-oh, the Chinese are expanding. That is not good. Am I justifying anybody? Yeah, the, oh, the Haida. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be a long time before we actually naval invade. That sucks. That really sucks. But I thank God for power armor. And are our divisions over here? Yes, they are. They're ready to go. Do we have any forts? That might be beneficial if we had some forts over here, just because we don't have a lot of divisions over here. Nice. Even more power armor. I love it. <sighs> love the power armor. Add you up here. Get you another general that we can't afford yet. God dang it. Oh, man. Masters of the Wasteland. Thank God. Mine is 60% less. Justify World Goals Times. Patrol Ship 2. Let's go ahead and... Eh, that's kind of a waste. Free Cascade. Yep, sure. Barge 2. So this is the best one of the... What is this? Is this light cruisers? This will be a screen ship. If we're going to have screens, we might as well do it well, right? Oops, nope. Light battery, light cruiser battery. Light cruiser battery. Even better anti-air. Okay, okay, okay. Secondary batteries. And then, very nice. Really, one of the best ships we're going to make in this entire run. 
Nice good old thingamabob. Um, alright, looks good enough. Let's go to go go to wall with these fellas. They're gonna attack us like crazy. We might actually lose a Nipton. Oh, I forgot about this. God dang it. I'm stupid. You guys are training. Um, I could actually use you over here. That was my fault. I forgot that there was actually ways for these guys to get over here. You guys, go ahead and do whatever you need to. You all just kind of hang on. Don't lose too much. These guys are expanding over here, but the forest is in the north. They'll definitely make up for it. So, not too worried about it. I made a little oopsie. I really wanted to expand very quickly. That was my bad. But how much manpower do they actually have? I'm not too concerned about this, really. Less than a thousand. Yeah, that's not much. That really ain't much. And actually, I think they're killing some of my divisions down here. No, not yet. They're just winning very well. That's okay. I, too, make oopsies from time to time. Hmm, but they... Oh, they're now losing more forces than we are. Good. You guys are digging in. Having a good time. We've almost cut these guys off over here. We, well, I mean, their land that they took from us. Great. Forces in the north. Simon Abercrombie is definitely attacking until his men are tired out. Maybe not the best thing to do. Go ahead and take Cottonwood, Co Cottonwood Cove. That'd be great. And let's not forget about what our war in Tiampa. Should be okay over here. Lots of wars, my friends. They'll attack us over here as we backstab them over here. Very awesome. Mojave Raiders. I made a little bit of an oopsie early on, but... Nothing says like an enemy oopsie like encircling three of their own divisions. Awesome. Very, very awesome. Now what are they going to do? Get a new commander. Look at that lag, baby. Oh. Wade Stevenson. Yes, I did notice another commander down south, but that's okay. They have almost no more manpower, so if I attack, I will lose uh, quite a few guys. That's alright, though. But they won't be able to replace their guys, and they're pretty much done. Wait, what are you... Yeah. Don't want to know about that. Three of you guys over there, you guys are over here. I need to send you back up north. Or not. Nah, meh. I need to go to war with the Mojave chapter. That's the last Brotherhood of Steel thing over here. Just gonna kind of hang out up here. Hang out, go and do some training. How's Yampa doing? Yampa's doing great. We're doing great in Yampa. And there go the Mojave Raiders, even though I made a small tactical mistake in the beginning. And that's okay. Awesome. Uh, were they allied? Oh, maybe they're in the Syndicate of Ash. Alright, I guess we gotta kill Yampa off. That's alright. Let's see, who's down here? Who actually made it down here? Um, You guys. And then... You guys. You six. Put you underneath a new general. General Judah Kreger. Level 5, Jesus. That's pretty good. Go ahead and do this. Prepare yourselves. We can go to war with Mojave Chapter probably at any time. Yampa. Never even stood a chance. Cleansing the wastes of barbarian scum. Very nice. Awesome. And they should be dead soon. I want to take that tile. Wild Mountain. Nice. And there they go. Cool. So, like I said, I want to go to war with the desert, not the desert people, but the uh, cannibals of the Midwest. So, to do that, I'm going to split these guys up. You guys come over here. I'm only going to use one army, really, because that's probably all we will really need to push this way. They have a lot of divisions, I think? Manpower? They have a lot of manpower, a couple divisions, not that bad. We need 
Oh, we've kind of been already expanding the infrastructure around here. Ooh, Lamar, hello. Do that as well. But we gotta start thinking a little bit about um, taking out the Mormons. Oh, actually, Unita is by itself. Interesting. I don't think they would be. Um, where are most of their divisions located? There's a lot down here. So I'm going to probably need to call on the support of some other divisions as well. Or maybe I won't go to war with... Eh, no, I said I would do it. I, I'm going to do it. Oh, let's get some more max speed. You guys... Yeah, you're just infantry, so... You guys don't cost nearly as much of this. That Oh, wait. No, no, these guys are doing the thing over here. You guys aren't doing anything else. You guys don't need to do what you're doing. Call upon the infantry. Because we got this area taken care of, we got this area taken care of. We need to do this area next. Because we already have that branch done. Cool. Power armor. Go ahead and spawn up here. Fly. I'm going to spawn you around Delta. That'd be great. Good God. So laggy that I can't even get to go to war. Oh, wait. Can I go to. Not you guys. Ah, I missed it, maybe. Oh, no, no. Okay. 100 more days. 100 more days. If I were to justify a new Victoria now, how long would that take? Oh god, 70 days, you gotta do that. Screw that. Oh yeah, boy. Oh, yes. Nice. This will give us a good entryway into the Mormon Alliance. Very nice. Michael Mead falls ill. We have free Cascadia. And they'll do fix the Broken Coast. Which doesn't really matter since we, I think we own most of the Broken Coast anyways. Anything else we can do down here? Hmm, not really. Taking out the trash. Oh, yes. What a bunch of trashy individuals. Um, are these divisions actually making it down here? It looks like they are. Oh, wait, what are you guys... Oh, shoot. Um, actually, this is probably enough divisions to actually just hang on to defend against these guys. Go ahead and do that. I, I said I'd be at the... By the end of this episode, I would be at war with these guys, so... I might as well make that a real... A reality. Now, let's see if they're going to attack me, because if not, I'm just going to push straight into them. Give them three seconds. Three. Two. I lied. Alright, that's easy. <clears throat> you guys, when you attack, you're just going to go straight in, infantry. You guys, when you go in, you... Mm, that's quite a few divisions. I'm going to let you do whatever you need to do. Uh, up north? You guys look Okay. I'm gonna let you do that. For these guys, the faster we go, the better. Oh, we already have maxed out supply here. All right, I think we're ready to go. Yeah, they're attacking us. They can't attack us over the river, but we can attack them. As we're now moving in, how is this going? Slow, 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 but that's okay. We are looking pretty sexy for the new American state. I forgot about the Mexican things down here. The Mexican nations. I was so focused on the Mormons, I forgot about the Mexicans. Oh, you guys should probably go as well. Get those extra divisions in there. Hmm, 44 losses versus 12,000. Pretty good, pretty good. Barge 2. What about a paddle steamer? Anything over here? Mm, crazy horns. Well, once we go to war with just one of the members of the Mormon Alliance, they're all going to be at war with us, so really no reason to do that. More divisions, though. Very nice. Twelve more infantry divisions. Throw you onto here. Where are y'all at? Oh, you are you could probably use some training. I'm getting hungry. Whew. I am getting hungry. Salvage fighters. You guys... You don't have a lot of divisions, but you're good enough to do that. Scrap dive bombers, nuclear savage, doesn't matter. Doesn't even matter, man. Um, for you guys. Go right ahead. You should do okay. We should have enough gunships in the air. 15 and a half damage. 11 over here. Yeah. Just 
go ahead and make them our own. Very nice, not bad. Go ahead and move up north. Not bad whatsoever. One versus one, they won't be able to pierce us. No issue, no contest. Alright, over here. Have you guys trained up enough? No, you have not. The game is so laggy to the point where I need to keep training these individuals. But at least we're at war with Midwestern Chapter. Or Midwest uh, Cannibals. And we are slowly making our way through these different nations that, or different former states that I don't remember the name of. Nebraska? Are we fighting through Nebraska or Kansas? I think we are. I think we are. Oh, we already took a lot of the states. Cool. But yeah, I can't remember these. Nebraska, Kansas. I was like up over here or something. Um, yeah, I can't remember a lot. Missouri. Actually, is this Missouri? Is it Missouri territory? Illinois, I know, is right here. Actually, that's, a, that's, that's actually re really good, Illinois. Um, so then this must be Missouri or something. I might be forgetting a state. America's pretty large of a country. But that's pretty much all the time that we really do have for today. We're slowly trying to take out these guys, this other trashy nation down here. But, like all good things, we'll eventually get it. So, with that in mind, guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow. And I do want to thank every single one of you for subbing to my channel, leaving likes, and just spending time with me and Hoi4. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.